Australian researchers have almost doubled the efficiency of solar panels. This is game changing. I mean, these numbers are quite staggering. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. YouTube's new algorithm means that you're often not getting all of our videos in your feed. There's 7,500. I'm pretty sure you're probably not seeing a lot of them. In the description, there is a link to our newsletter. Click on that and you can get an update every day of all the latest news in the electric car industry. Australian solar researchers have discovered that adding graphene to solar cells can improve efficiency to 30.6% and cut the need for expensive gold and silver conductors. This would drastically reduce the cost of solar panels and enormously improve their efficiency. The finding was part of manufacturing research between perovskite cell company, Halo Cell Energy, and the Queensland University of Technology set up in 2023 to actually commercialize this technology. And the finding says that adding a layer of graphene, a very light, highly conductive material made from graphite, to perovskite solar cells can easily be done by using roll-to-roll -roll dispersion technology, a manufacturing method used to add extra layers to flexible substrates such as solar panels. Reneweconomy.com.au says that the addition almost doubled the efficiency of the solar cell. The addition of graphene means Halo Cell now has a suite of low-cost materials for different solar applications, says Halo Cell Energy CEO Paul Mooney. This material will be included in sales of our ambient PV range already available for purchase, as well as our drone and satellite PV modules, he said. And the company received a three-year grant of only $2 million from the Federal Cooperative Research Center's projects to support the research. And it's amazing what they've done which, with such a relatively small amount of money. In April, the team said that they set a new efficiency record for the technology and in July, the university's Dr. Min Tam Hong from the School of Chemistry and Physics received a grant to work with Halo Cell on toxicity and instability of metal halide perovskite materials. Now, the perovskite family of solar materials has long been promising as a way to make light, flexible solar modules that we could cover cars in. Yeah, give our cars potentially 30 miles of range every day by simply covering them in this tech. But also, these kind of solar cells can be effectively put onto anything. It, the, the big advantage to them is that they can be easily molded or, or bent or kind of adapted to the shape of, of any real surface. And they're also cheap to produce and as efficient as silicon-based solar photovoltaic materials. But... A number of key hurdles have thus far blocked perovskite-based solar cells from becoming commercially competitive. Among those is the time-intensive work, says reneweconomy.com.au, of trying to nail down the right variations of the materials with the best efficiency cost and durability because perovskite solar cells don't last as long as silicon-based cells. That's the big downside. Those hurdles are falling though as companies such as California's Kalux begin shipping perovskite glass and Halo Cell says it's been selling indoor cells in Australia for small electronics since last year. Now, there is actually a factory that they're building in Wagga Wagga. Um, basically, they're adding plant capacity with more roll-to-roll -roll lines so they can hit a target of 60 million units per year with what is clearly the highest energy density solar cells in the world. Now, that's not really the right way of calling it, but the highest energy efficiency solar cells in the world. And they're being made in Australia. This is quite a remarkable achievement, considering our manufacturing industry is considered by many to be dead. Well, it turns out in some sectors, we could be leading the world. Congratulations to these guys. I think you've done well, you've achieved a, a massive, a massive, a massive thing where this could really commercialize perovskite solar cells worldwide. And I don't see why we can't start adding these to cars with this technology. It sounds like it would work. 30% efficiency is higher than any solar cells being used 
anywhere else in the world on a commercial level. Guys, what are your thoughts about this? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Home solar and home battery prices have hit record lows in both the United States and in Australia. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. If we factor in inflation over the past five years, the truth is home solar systems have gone down by more than 60%. Now, if you include... If you include as well as that, the improvements in efficiency, I mean, solar panel efficiency now has increased significantly versus where it was at five years ago. Longevity as well. Solar panel manufacturers now are offering 25-year, in some cases, 30-year warranties on their panels. If you put all that together, solar is incredibly cheap in both the United States and in Australia, and in fact, in pretty much every country in the world. However, if you've been holding off on going solar, I just had a conversation with uh, a, a friend from this local swimming club and I said, mate, you've got to get solar. You, you're crazy not to get solar. It is, it is the only logical conclusion unless you like spending money, unless you like, sorry, I should say, unless you like wasting money. According to Energy Sage's new solar and storage marketplace report in the United States, prices for both home solar and solar plus a battery reached record lows in the second half of 2024. Energy Sage, an online solar shopping marketplace, analyzed millions of quotes from installers across the US in its 20th semi-annual report. The data covers January through December 2024 and shows a detailed look at what homeowners pay for solar panels, batteries, inverters, and more. The median price for solar-only systems dropped to $2 and 65 cents per watt, this is in the United States, in the second half of 2024, down from $2.80 per watt earlier in the year. That's the lowest price Energy Sage has ever recorded. And what this means is that battery-backed systems, as well as solar, are now the cheapest they've ever been. Battery systems saw an even bigger price drop. That means that solar plus storage quotes in the US fell from $2.59 per watt in the first half of the year to $2.40 per watt in the second half of the year. That's a big difference. Tesla's Powerwall 3 is, well, it's playing a pretty big uh, part in this. The new version has an integrated inverter, so you're saving money by not having to buy an inverter, which shifts some of the costs from the solar quote, measured in dollars per watt, to the storage quote, measured in dollars per kilowatt hour. Now, when it all comes down to it, the truth is that um, the cost of batteries, home batteries, has gone down as well.